Hey tappers, welcome back to another tutorial and welcome the new tappers or maybe there's somebody at home watching this video who's never tapped before and you're about to unlock your hidden talent of being a tap dancer. So I'm putting my tap shoes on, but please, before you put your tap shoes on at home, talk to your parents first. I don't wanna be the reason you have to get new flooring after this is all said and done. <laughs> all right, so I'm putting my tap shoes on. Yesterday we did the Irish, and today we're going to put the Irish into a little combination. So here we go. All right, so I'm standing up. I'm gonna do a short little warm up. Uh, there's a lot of really great warm ups available online. And once I find out if my neighbors below me are uh, at home <laughs> during the day, I will record some more little warm ups and things that you guys can play around with. But you wanna make sure your knees are in a slight bend, you're holding your core. If you're someone that maybe you, your balance isn't too great, don't be afraid of grabbing onto a wall or to a chair just to warm up the full body. And like I said, I'm not gonna sit, stand here for 20 minutes and show you the warm up because that's not the purpose of this video, but I can record a warm up. But I do what most tap teachers do. I do the Steve Condos rudiments warm up, which is a lot of just transferring of the weight, waking up our shins, getting our toes going. So I'm just lifting my shin, toe taps. I'll do two counts of eight and then I'll double time them. Then I'll switch to my heels. I'll drop my heels. Then I'll always move into double time. Then I'll do things like lifting, right? Dropping my heel again. Little things like that to get your legs warmed up, rolling out your ankles, fun stuff like that. Also, I, in my experience, I also need to stretch out my muscles this way, even though I, or even my arms, my neck, my head, because I hold tension in, in weird places. So we're gonna do a little combo. I'm gonna flip around so you can see from the back and then I'll turn and face you. So a reminder of yesterday's Irish, and Irish is a shuffle hop step. Shuffle hop step. So we'll do a couple more of those. All right, so that's the Irish. If you're not sure about the Irish, check the tutorial I posted the other day. I guess that was Tuesday. I can't even keep count of the days of the week this. All right, so we're gonna do four ball heels. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. And I'm stepping on it, transferring my weight and dropping my heel. So just to get the combo started, we're gonna do four step heels. We go a one, a two, a three, a four. You're gonna do three paradiddles. If you're not sure what a paradiddle is, check my YouTube page. I, and search up paradiddle, and I did a breakdown of a paradiddle a few years ago. But a paradiddle is big spank, ball, heel, big spank, ball, heel, three. We're gonna do three in a stamp. So we're gonna go one, two, three, stamp. So we have a one, a two, a three, a four. Up tempo is a little bit faster and it's a little more swingy. So we have a one, two, three, four, and. Most of my weight is on my left. I'm gonna shuffle my right. Shuffle a ball change. Shuffle a ball change. Shuffle ball change, ball change. So we're gonna do three shuffle ball changes, but on the third one, double the ball change. So from the top, we have ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel. Here we're gonna throw in two Irishes, starting with our right, because it's ready to go. All right, so we'll try it again. We have ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Two maxi forwards, so a maxi forward to the right. Leap, shuffle, go. One more. Leap, shuffle, go. So we have from the top, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Paradiddle, 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 step. Shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, ball change. Shuffle, hop step, shuffle, hop step. How are you doing so far? 
We good? All right, we're gonna add on a little bit more. So we just did two maxi fords to the right. From here, we're gonna do a cramp roll, but we're gonna jump into it. So ball, ball, heel, heel. So we're here. We're jumping right into it. Like literally, we're jumping into a puddle, really bending your knees, engaging your core, separating those sounds. From the top, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, paradiddle, 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 step. Shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, ball change, ball change. Irish. All right, so one last little eight count and then I'm gonna, uh, in the link, I'll suggest a few songs you can use. Unfortunately, if I play a song, this video gets taken down. <laughs> so one more eight count. You just went -da -da. from here. We are going to do falap falap. And we're gonna crawl towards the right, or sorry, towards the left, starting with your right. -da 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 -da. Just to finish it out, just to play it out. Heel, heel, ball, ball, heel, heel, ball, ball, heel, heel. Six, seven, eight, five, six. So putting that all together from the very, very top of a, a six, a da, sit, ha, ha, one. that even if it doesn't sound exactly like mine because sometimes near the end of choreo when I'm just having fun I might go -da -da -da, and just kind of play with it from there so I will post in um, I will attach links of songs that I like I'm into jazz and Motown and all that old stuff it's feel good especially at a time right now for all those who are struggling or feeling a little bit alone or lost you're definitely not alone, and I appreciate you logging on and watching and dancing and staying moving. It's so good for your mental health. It's so good for your heart. We will recover from this stronger than ever, and thanks to the lovely dance community, there's so many resources for us, our kids, you at home. So keep dancing. We got this, and I'll see you in another video.